हाल मत पूछो मेरे घरवारों का मोहम्मद आई में बेच रहे थे अंधे का शहर में थैंक यू सर थैंक यू हॉनरेबल चेयरमैन सर सर आई बिगिन विद योर फेमस तमिल कोट सर आई नो यू ऑलवेज लाइक द कोट सो फॉर दैट आल्सो आई वांट टू स्टार्ट माय स्पीच विद वन कोट सर आशा இருக்கு தாசில் பண்ண அதிஷ்டம் இருக்கு கழுத மேக்க அதிஷ்டம் <laughs> 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 but the lack is only to hurt or rise as she said goat this is a famous quote in uh, tamil sir uh, why i want to quote this likewise honorable sir when this union government formed in 2014 and also in 2019 what was the expectation of the public of this country sir the expectation was an amazing government the expectation was an amazing government but in the end all they got is an amazon government which sells everything that it sees for that i quoted sir sir the union government has given as a lackluster budget aimed not at growth or welfare of the people of this country this is lacking vision to create jobs tackle inflation and stem inequality cmi data data reveals that the total number of the employed people in india at the end of december 2022 was lower than the total number of employed people at the start of 2016 this is the cmi data this budget also failed to address the issue of unemployment and inflation when and when the unemployment rate is at a historic high the budget reduces the mgnrega allocation by 33% this budget proves that this union government has no road map to build india's future instead this government is determined to push the fortune of the gift city ahmedabad at the cost of other commercial and financial centers in the country honorable sir the budget has cut down the union government expenditure to reduce the fiscal deficit while giving further tax concession to the rich no direct tax direct taxes have been reduced there is no cut in the uh, cruel and irrational gst rates there is no cut in the numerous surcharges and cesses with uh, Uh, which are not shared with the state government besides making new tax regime the default option is grossly unfair and will rob the ordinary taxpayer of the merge social security that he may get under the old tax regime the honorable finance minister in a first press conference in august 2021 had said the upa government had reduced fuel prices by issuing oil bond of rupees 1.44 lakh crore i can't go back by the tricky that was played by the previous upa government due to oil bond the burden has come to the burden has come to our government we are pleading to pay the oil bond of rupees 1.44 lakh crore of upa government this was said by our uh, finance minister sir while conveniently hiding the fact that the current nda government has placed the far more dangerous ticking time bomb on our heads sir this government has no local standy to talk about the upa government or, or or its oil bonds so what is the time bomb uh, that i am talking about what is the time bomb it is the recapitalization bonds issued by this government since 2017 which will deteriorate the indian economy from 2028 and when place it in a precarious situation by 2034 35 this
This government, after coming to power, changes fuel prices daily, which affect the common man. It starts crying out, stating that it has to serve the oil bond issued by the earlier government. So the reality. But here comes a big catch. The interest paid by the government on oil bond is much smaller than what this government earns through oil exercise duty. Excise duty. So the truth is that the union government is levying high fuel price in order to raise additional revenue. But despite the need for revenue, the government has cut excise duty on fueling during 2017 and 2018, just before the assembly elections. The cumulative interest on the oil bonds comes to around rupees 9,000 crores per year, while the interest on the recapitalization bonds are more than double, more than double rupees 19,000 crores. Honorable Chairman, sir, this government in 2019 introduced the recapitalization bond scheme for infusing equity into public sector banks to meet their capital requirements, which had taken a hit due to write off of non performing assets. In December 2020, to save the interest burden, the government issued a zero corporate recapitalization bond to turn off rupees 5,500 crores and again did the same in April 2021 by infusing more than rupees 14,500 crores into public sector banks by issuing non-interest bearing bonds to them against the consent the reservation of the RBI. As these special bonds are non-interest bearing and issued at, at par to the bank, it would be an investment which would not earn any return but their depreciate but rather depreciate with each passing year. Honorable Sir, everyone is talking about the Adani and the Edinburgh report and everything. Uh, how this government had a hand held Adani in the last eight years by supporting it through his schemes and all. The past is already written, sir. The ink is dry. I don't want to talk about the past. I am here to... Fo I am, sir, I... I have more time, sir. 16 more, 16 more minutes, sir. I have divided equitably. I am here to focus on the future. I am here to explain what, is what this government will be doing in the future for their corporate paymasters. Sir, I would like to explain the pathetic situation of scheduled banks of India. Sir, what is bank? What is the role of the bank? What is the nature of a bank? A bank is an institution. A bank is an institution which collects money from the public as a deposit and lends the money to the person who needs to start their business or some other purpose, mainly for business. So banks do not invest in capital. No bank invests in capital. It uses only public money for their lending operations. Earn some... Excuse me. It uses only public money for their lending operations, earning from the difference of interest between these two. This is how banks are always supposed to be. This is how banks are always supposed to be. The duty of the bank manager is to collect the money from the public as a deposit and give loan to the needy people. This is the main duty of them, not only main duty, one and only duty of the manager. But what is happening today, Honorable Chairman, sir? A bank manager is spending more time of his work by selling mutual funds, by selling insurance, by selling another, another financial products, even he is selling gold coin also nowadays. The bank become like a supermarket and the duty of the bank manager's duty has become like a supermarket manager. So. Around so, around so, 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 its nature has changed. This is what I want to explain. So, the bank manager, uh, what a yeah, bank manager is poor, so he is spending more time. Some, someone is coming to the bank to deposit some money. He convinced that man to buy the mutual uh, fund or insurance or some other thing. So, after two or three, after two or three years, when the public realized that their assets have decreased in value. They go back to the branch only to realize that the bank manager who had convinced them for the investment was no longer here. 
and he was transferred. Even if a customer complained, no action is taken on the earning officers because bank today are only concerned with minting money instead of serving the public. Siri. Sir, sir, I have 16 minutes, sir. A lot of time is 16 minutes. Now, 9 minutes only over, sir. Three speakers and I equitably yes, divided. Yes, sir. Round up. You have made point impactfully. <laughs> he started on a very good note. And what has impressed me very greatly is sir. that a minor disturbance upset you. I am sit here and the kind of disturbance I face. <laughs> cooperate with me, cooperate with I me. Can, I can understand you, conclude, sir. I, can, conclude. I have a time, sir. Please conclude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So 90% of this country are innocent and blindly believe the bank manager by thinking that they are educated. The activity of the bank manager is already bring down the deposit made by the public in the bank. Sir, this will lead to a situation where the banks are unable to function. And finally, this Amazon government will sell the bank at its intrinsic value, which will be 50 or 100 times lesser than the real value, thereby enriching your corporate fame masters of which Adani seems to be our favorite. According to me, this government has only two policies, sir. One is, if any public sector undertaking belong to the people of India, they will immediately sell the company to their corporate master. This is one policy. And another policy is, the another policy is, while corporate companies struggle, very recently, like your friend Adani's companies were struggling, your government takes common man's money from the government company like LIC and SBI and infuses your friend uh, coffers who uses the money to manipulate the stock market just for his personal uh, gains. This Amazon government either sells all government companies or uses the money from the government companies to invest into your friend's struggling companies. Thank you, thank you. Sir, one minute, sir. I just want to conclude because you are not giving me the time. Even nobody is there, you are not giving thank me you, the time. Thank you, thank you. One minute, sir. I just want to conclude, sir. My Honorable Union Finance Minister termed this budget as Amrit Kal. But she doesn't know. No, no, I didn't term the budget Amrit Kal. I said budget for Amrit Kal. Ah, budget for Amrit Kal. And we can say budget, yeah, budget for budget, Amrit Kal. Budget for in Amrit Kal. Kal. Okay, budget for, budget for Amrit Kal. But people are calling this budget and this government as a Rahul Kal. As? At a Rahul Kal. But in reality, but reality, this is Yamagandam or Yamagal, the ringing of the death bell of the Indian economy. With this, I conclude, sir. Thank Siri you. Sri Sujit Kumar, sir, be very brief. Thank you, sir. sir no I one am... knows better than you do. Brevity is the soul of it. Sir, I have much to say, but because of your instruction, I'll try to be brief and speak faster. Sir, I'll begin by conveying the message of my party.